Percy's predicament. Daisy, the diesel rail car, enjoyed her work in the countryside, but she was still very lazy and stubborn. One day, Toby brought Henrietta to the station where Percy was shunting. Hello, Percy, said Toby. I see Daisy's left the milk again. I'll have to make a special journey with it, I suppose. Anyone would think I'd nothing to do, grumbled Percy. Tell you what, replied Toby. I'll take the milk and you can fetch my trucks. Their drivers and the station master agreed and both engines set off. Percy went to the quarry and began ordering the trucks about. The trucks grumbled to each other. This is Toby's place. Percy's got no right to poke his funnel up here and push us around. They whispered and passed the word. Pay Percy out. Pay Percy out. At last they were all arranged. Come along, Puff Percy. No nonsense. We'll give him nonsense, giggled the trucks. But they followed so quietly that Percy thought they were under control. Suddenly he saw a notice ahead. All trains stopped to pin down brakes. Beep, beep, whistled Percy. Brakes, guard, please. But before he could check them, the truck surged forward. On, on, they cried. Help, help, whistled Percy. The man on duty at the crossing rushed to warn the traffic with his red flag, but he was too late to switch Percy to the runaway siding. Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. The brake van and some trucks stood in his way. Peep, peep, look out, he whistled. His driver and fireman jumped clear. Percy whistled and there was a splinting crash. The brake van was in smithereens. Percy, still whistling fit to burst, was perched on some trucks. Next day, the fat controller arrived. Toby and Daisy had helped to clear the wreckage, but Percy remained on his perch of trucks. We must now try, said the fat controller, to run the branch line with Toby and a diesel. Percy, you have put us in an awkward predicament. I am sorry, sir, replied Percy. You can stay there till we are ready, said the fat controller. Perhaps it will teach you to be careful with trucks. Percy sighed. The trucks groaned beneath his wheels. He quite understood about awkward predicaments. The fat controller spoke severely to Daisy too. My engines must work hard. I send lazy engines away. Daisy was ashamed. However, the fat controller went on. Toby says you worked hard after Percy's accident. So you shall have another chance. Thank you, sir, said Daisy. I will work hard, sir. Toby says he'll help me. Excellent, said the fat controller. The next day, Thomas came back from being mended, and Percy was sent away. Annie and Clarabel were delighted to see Thomas again, and he took them for a run at once. Thomas, Toby and Daisy are now all friends, and Toby has taught Daisy a great deal. She often takes the milk for Thomas, and when Toby is busy, she takes Henrietta. That shows you, doesn't it?